What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Varys in the mid lane. And what item do I want to start with? We'll go with the Doran's the sword. I almost said ring. But Doran's blade. Doran's sword. Doran's sword. But anyways, I would like to take this little moment with you guys at the beginning of this video while we're still waiting for the mini onions to spawn to um, mention a few things. First of all, I want to let you guys know that since I know a lot of you guys probably don't make it to the very end of my video where I announce that I do have a Twitch stream that I stream on very frequently, um, if you guys are interested in watching me live stream either League or other games as well, make sure you do follow me on there. The link to that is in the description. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter to know when I go live. Either way, you'll be notified of when I go live. Um, and yeah, that's that. But this segues into my other thing, and that is what I want to let you guys know. And over the next... The course of like the next month or so, um, the quality of my life, my videos, my stream, everything should be going up massively. Because not only am I getting a new computer and better internet, lots of good things in my personal life are also happening very soon too. So my mood will be raised up as well, just naturally. So, along with new internet and new computer, I'll be able to produce better content faster for you guys, and I'll also be able to stream more often and have you know, more fun with you guys in general. Um, so I hope you're all looking forward to that, and I hope you guys do follow me on Twitch and uh, stick around here and whatnot. And with all that said, let us get right into this game. I do apologize that I was unable to upload uh, YouTube videos for just a little bit. It was entirely due to the fact that of about the last 48 hours, I've been in bed for about 40 of them. I've been feeling pretty sick, but I am feeling better now, so no worries there. And if you guys did not see yet... This is, in fact, a uh, ranked five games or ranked fives game that we are playing with a bunch of other YouTubers as a uh, as a little for fun thing. And if you guys don't know, we do have let's see where, where the oh yeah they're double jungling. I was gonna say where the heck's the top laner, but we do have Ans or Insanity X X X on that top lane Yasuo, and we do have let's see here that's gonna be a stun off on me, but I don't really give a hoot, son. So let's go ahead and just uh, get right back into this. This zillion's actually pretty good. I remember they changed zillion, but I don't remember exactly how at all. Um, so that's something there. But as you can see, obviously, your boy Spankler Danklin on that mid lane Varus. Because we did need some AD with our Mordekaiser AD carry. Which is being played by THE Gordon Ramsay himself. And it looks like we are getting ganked by whatever this guy's name is. The Jarvan J4. And let's see if we can chipow, do some good damage to him there, and we will avoid dying very easily. So I do have, I did take cleanse this game due to the fact that they do have um, quite a lot of targeted CC with Pantheon and a lot of AOE CC when it comes to uh, you know Zillion and Bard. So I decided that cleanse would be a good idea here. But let's go ahead and see. We got Captain Monk on that Rex side coming in behind the. Uh, Coming in behind this guy, potentially. It looks like he is not actually, though. So just going to uh, joke a little bit there. Get some auto attacks off on him. Look at this. Look at this. Damage one. And that's going to be a big bunch of damage going off on Zillion here. Whoa. Rek'Sai has been found. But let's see. Will it be enough? All right. So let's see here. It looks like Zillion is going after me. He is very low on mana now after going for that. So he definitely needs to watch himself. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and ward right in that bush. And see what we can do. So, Kaplow! What? That didn't hit him? Alright, you're tilting me. But let's see. He shouldn't have mana for much of anything right now. So if I just pretty much just run up at him, I should be able to uh, get him good. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this wave. Because since he's pretty much out of mana, let's see. If they flash for this, I'm ready to flash. But... He did not, so that is good for me. Let's see. So, man, go away, Jarvin. What the fuck? He's here, like, literally all the time. All right, we got what's-his-face coming in. Monk coming in, and let's see. Kablamo going to be doing some good damage there to the Zillion. Let's see. What is he running? He's running Teleport. Okay. So the Zillion with the Teleport will be... Probably getting shoved out of lane on that one. Oh god, the CSing. Oh god, dear god. Alright, let's go ahead and just push it like that. And go back and grab our tier, I think, will be our best choice. 
Because getting a tier is going to help us quite a lot. He's going to interrupt my back if I try him back there. What the heck is he... Is he still trying to? Okay, whatever. <laughs> so Monk is going to come in, and let's see, maybe I can get an assist here if he goes for a kill, but let's go ahead and just clear this wave. Because even though Zillion can kill it pretty fast, it's still very useful for me to uh, try and clear as much of the wave as I can. So, I'm not going to be too worried here. Wow, God, I'm going to miss that one too. Go ahead and get that minion, and let's back. So if he decides to interrupt me, then whatever, it's really not going to be an issue. Um, Monk? Oh, they're not going to be getting killed. They're actually going to be getting first blood over there. That is real, real, real good. That'll be terrific for us. Let's go ahead and grab... I'm actually going to grab a Scrying Orb. Now, let's go ahead and sit here and get right back into lane with our tier. And see what we can do. We should be much better off now. On our mana, at least, and as long as I put on my snipey, wipey pants, we should be good. Uh-oh, it looks like my negligence to call the Mia has resulted in my bottom lane being ganked. But let's see if the Mordekaiser is strong enough to prevail. I don't know if it is. It looks like it is. The bop! Here he goes! There's the smack! We got the teleport coming in! And let's see, where is he going? Where is the bar going? Where's he going? And schlip blam! That's gonna be one kill coming in! And let's see, can we get another one? The sniping aim is true! And that will be the end of his life. So goodbye, Brad. Let's get this dragon real fast too. With Mordekaiser, we will also have my little dragon to uh, spawn in the lane. So one kill picked up will help a lot. And they shouldn't need me any longer, so let's go ahead and back off here. And get right back to mid. So I know Zillion is low. Definitely not going to be in mid for a little bit. So I'm going to try and push this as fast as I can. I do have my Chains of Corruption now. So I can definitely do quite a lot of work in team fights, Or quite a lot more work in team fights, I should say. Because I could already do a decent amount. Oh, what the heck? Did it just give me that minion from the dragon? Neato. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and shblam! Get a big bunch of damage off on him right there. Well, let's see. <laughs> Connor is playing fucking... I don't even know. Playing goddamn Pokemon right now. <laughs> with the dragon. Let's see. Okay, no, I definitely don't get that CS from him killing it. So Zillion gonna go grab his blue. I'm gonna get my potion ticking. My mana potion, that is. And let's see here. So if he comes from this side... I'll be able to do a bunch of damage to him. So, okay, or he's taking forever to do that blue. So I got a shit ton of damage off on the turret there. That's pretty good. And let's see, that will hit me. Oh, that's going to hit me as well. But other than that, he's not really going to do a lot of damage. So I'll go ahead and just tick some potions up real fast. And, uh, well, get right back onto this. So, that second bomb will miss entirely. Sure. Alright, I'm on my way. Let's go ahead and grab this blue. My arrow should be able to do enough to kill it now. And now we are definitely in a very good spot as Varus because with a blue buff, I can just clear these waves like they're nothing. Like they're nothing. And it looks like, whoa, I got the Pantheon coming in here. And it's looking like that's going to be the end of that. So the Chain of Corruption going to come out. That's going to be him going down. And we got Pantheon. He's stuck right here. Shaboom. That's going to be one kill. Let's see the knockup and the last breath coming in. We'll be picking up two kills right there for our teammates. Good response by my team. And we should be able to get this tower as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it'll be best for me to get another point in my Hail of Arrows here because there's not really a whole lot of reason in maxing my W second unless I plan on, you know, being up in people's faces, which I don't. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Hail of Arrows because it's better for the Varus mid. As Varus AD carry, maxing W second is better because you're actually auto-attacking people a lot more frequently. Where Varus mid, you play it more as a caster. Like, you play it as a sniper and you just try and do damage from afar. Um, but let's go ahead and grab our Mana Mune here. Mana Mune, Mana Mune, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and I'll start building a long sword real fast. And I think 
That should be all I really need right now. I still haven't dropped my pink ward because I haven't been really pushed anyways. But now that we've taken the tower, we should start dropping that. It looks like the Zillion is saving his money to try and get his Archangel staff more than likely. Um, well, you know, I'm saying more than likely because he's probably not going to go for a man immune on Zillion. Um, but, you know, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? So, totally missing both of those. It happens to the best of us. Whoop. Okay, so I dropped a uh, Q there just to be sure that I would get that because I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Let's see. Go ahead and do some good damage on this guy. Drop the chain of corruption right here. This is gonna be some good damage. Drop this E, ba boom, and let's see. All right, there goes his ultimate, and let's see. Kaboom! Oh shit! Oh no! I didn't time it right. I'm the worst. Alright, so I was trying to count down my uh, arrow with his chrono whatever, his his ultimate, Zillion's ultimate, and I think I did it just like half a second too early on the kill. So I am just the worst, but that's okay. We'll get back into this lane and see what we can do. And I tried to use my cleanse just to see if it would take off a Zillion bomb. I wasn't sure if it would or not. I'm pretty sure it only does um, debuffs though instead of like actual spells. So, you know, just just trying, just experimenting, because I do not run cleanse very often at all. I just thought it would be good with the, uh, the Pantheon and the Bard. So that was my thought process there. Because if I just get jumped on by Pantheon, I'm pretty fucked if I don't have my cleanse up. But, I had assumed it would be a Pantheon jungle, so that's also my mistake. And let's see, can I do something up top here? Let's see what we can do. It looks like Insanity doing very well for himself on that Pantheon top as well. Let's go ahead and drop a pink here. The... Where's Jarvan? Where's Jarvan? Oh, there he is! So let's go ahead and drop this right there, and let's go for a kapla! I don't think I hit him, but you know, whatever. So maybe we can dive this guy. Go ahead and grab that. And let's see it maybe. Eh, eh. Oh! Skaboosh! Let's do some. Eh. There we go. I got my little two cents in right there. Zillion taking my pink. You little slut. You little slut. Alright. And he's running that way. Monk has found him! We'll find the old man, the old carpet merchant. He's not gonna do anything. So let's. Pantheon in there. I mean, I have no idea, but if he is in there, that hail of arrows definitely would have scared him off, because I'm real spooky, like, woo. But let's go ahead and just clear this wave real fast, because there ain't no reason not to see what we can do. Or I just meant to get him all the CS. That was, you know, the plan the whole time. But, so with Pantheon here, I do need to watch myself. If Yasuo is going to leave, I need to be leaving as well. Teleporting down bottom, looks like he wants to try and make plays down there. And I should probably be down there myself, due to the fact that uh, Dragon is up. And if we have an improper fight here, that could result in a throw. But let's see. Oh, God. Pantheon ulted. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rip, dude. That Pantheon all shit on me, but looks like maybe... Nope, never mind. All right. Never mind. So let's grab our boots here and see how this fight unfolds. So it looks like Monk will be getting jumped on. He is going through his little river thing, river rapids, and it's looking like, well, that might be the end of that. So, all right, with Connor off on the wings right now, he does have his Rylice. He is farming pretty damn well. Um, I am not because I'm playing like a goddamn potato today. I've been playing horribly all day, but that is A-OK. -okay. Let's see here. They are just going to take the blue, it seems, that Mordekaiser damage on the third bop. I haven't played Mordekaiser in such a long time now. Uh, pretty much since I did that video. Let's see. And, ooh, yeah, I got it. Okay, so that's cool. But I'm just going to go back to playing Varus exactly how I know how. I'm going to stop trying to make plays or anything of the sorts. Because it's not really, you know, in my destiny to make plays right now. And let's see, it looks like he wants to do... Get... Jesus. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 
So those time bombs did a shit ton of damage. Holy cannoli. I really didn't expect them to do that much damage, but whatever. I'll still take the kill. I'll get a kill as I die, and it looks like that will be... I mean, I'll take it, because I do feel like I came out on top of that in this situation. So let's see here. Got our Brutalizer. That'll be some good more damage, along with some CDR. It looks like Last Breath not going to come out from him. I think that would have been a good time to Last Breath, but instead he's just going to distract long enough to get the Dragon. So not a bad idea indeed. But well, let's go ahead and run top to get that farm, because it looks like a larger wave is going to be stacking up here in just a moment, right under the tower. And if it doesn't make it, it's going to barely make it, but we should still get most of these. So, this will definitely be worth our while to come up here and grab all this. So as long as I keep farming right now, I will be very useful. Even if I don't keep farming super well, I'll still be useful, because that's how this Varus kind of works. Um, really, all you have to do is play to Varus' strength as a mid laner, and you'll be beyond useful. Oh god, oh god, not like this. Alright. So Pantheon is literally sitting in the bush, I guess, as the rest of my team just, like, murders. What the fuck? What kind of a strategy is that? Alright, I mean, I guess he got my ultimate and my flash, but... But what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. You know, whatever. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. So let's go ahead and get the Ionian Boots. This will bump us up to 35% CDR, which will be a, probably about where we stay. Because next up I will be getting uh, Last Whisper and Yomus, because that will help with any, any potential time that I go anywhere in auto attack range. Plus Yomus gives more armor penetration, and the Last Whisper, obviously, armor penetration. So... Good stuff there indeed. Let's go ahead and just cue this wave. Throw the E in the back there. And wait, that E hit that front minion? What the hell? Whatever. Well, let's go ahead and run towards mid. And let me show you guys what Varus does as a mid laner. Because we are getting to the point now that I am able to do that with our Brutalizer and our Ionian Boots and all this good stuff. Because this is when I start being useful enough. Like, now that I have this max level Q, and I can just kind of clear waves, and we can siege towers down, and if they get in my range, I can poke them out. And if they don't, I mean, I can just take these towers instead. So it looks like the last breath gonna come in, and the ultimate coming out, shabloosh! And let's see it. Ah, not gonna get him. So let's see. I was hoping the Chain of Corruption would land, but ba bam Take that 410 poke! And let's see, can we get another one? Shabloom! Gonna go straight through the minions and on that zillion. And let's see, maybe we can get more. whoop Not gonna land that one. So let's see. Uh, boom. So I'm gonna do some good damage there. I don't know why he stopped to laugh when he was just gonna get poked. Meow. So let's see, maybe we can get him. Uh, <laughs> I was really hoping the mains would kill, and that would have been really funny. But, still a lot of damage going off onto Zillion. As you guys saw, just a simple little poke in the behind is all it takes for this champion to shine. So, I don't know where Bard went. I just kind of assumed he would be there, because the uh, Rek'Sai tunnel popped. But let's see. Let's go ahead and go back. I think I'm going to work towards... My last whisper right now, even though they aren't building any armor whatsoever, still penetrating any armor they do have is kind of the whole point of this. Which the other option is to go for a uh, like a bloodthirster or an infinity edge. They'll put those auto attacks, or just have more flat AD. But either way, they're crazy if they don't go for armor this game because we have three heavy ADs as our damage dealers, and then Mordekaiser. But whatever, whatever, it ain't my game. Well, er, it is my game, but it ain't my team that's going to get pounded by the physical damage. And let's see, he is just going to get out of there. Wait, is he indeed? All right, this could be, and he's not. Okay. I take it back. So let's see, shaboom. Going to go for a big old Q there, not going to land on anything. And whoop Eh, I don't think I hit anything there. But we do have a big wave going in on this bot lane turret. So let's see. Not gonna hit her. But whoa! Apparently he's going down. 
Let's see, maybe we can do something here. Look at this damage! Holy shit! All right, last breath coming out, going to get him with the chain of corruption right there. That's gonna be the shutdown and the double kill going down for your boy. And look at this damage right there. Holy goodness. And... No! So close to killing him. So damn close to killing him right there, but will not be picking it up. And it's looking like just with sheer pushing power, not even a huge change in the scores even. We are already going one inhibitor down on them. And boom, look at that damage as we fade away into the sunset. Alright. <laughs> wait, wait, not like this! Oh god, Bard, why? Bard with the cosmic binding will be killing my ass. Alright, rip me, dude. Rip me. I was not paying attention. That double stun. It looks like Pantheon coming in. Mordecai's are gonna go down. And we have overstayed our welcome just a little bit. And it looks like maybe in the Bardalt will not land. Teleport not going to be very useful there. But let's see. Are they building any armor yet? No, they're still not. Alright, well. Tie in that. I could go for a time map, but that would be way too troll for me. So I'm just going to grab this longsword and go on with my day. So let's see. It looks like Yasuo has made his claim. He is coming in. Pantheon coming in from the behind with the stun. And it's not going to matter. Here he goes taking the lantern out of there. Never mind. He will just be uh, making his great escape as we run towards top lane here with our less than stellar CS. Because, dude, for some reason, like... It has been awful. Let's go ahead and just kill all of these. Oh, God. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and charge up a Q. Shoot it right into this blue buff. And that will be an E going down. One, two, three. Go ahead and Q that. Keep on kiting it in the Hail of Arrows just to take less damage. Um, but it doesn't really matter too much. And let's go ahead and take that. And I'm going to clear one more wave. Go grab my last Whisper and go right back to grouping. Because with... All of these items intact, that's really all I need. Um, obviously, as I farm up and get more and more, you know, items, I'll just be stronger and stronger. But right now, this is really all I need to be awesomely strong. And uh, anything from here is just more damage, like more and more damage. So, let's go back to grouping with the team and see if we can put our snipey pants on. And they call me Captain Snipey Pants and allow me to show you why. But as you also know, they call me Captain Feeder Pants because I'm 40% of the team's deaths. At the moment, let's see, there's the Zillion Flash. There's the Cosmic Binding onto the Thresh. So that will be the end of that. So, let's see, the missile from Rek'Sai will not land. And will my missile land, though? Kerplow! Not gonna land that one. But it ain't gonna matter. They ain't even gonna try to defend this. Because they know they cannot do it. Not with a whole dragon in their face. And let's see. Blabooge! Look at that damage. Chain of Corruption coming out. Gonna be popping them right there. The Chain of Corruption going on to two more. Ever so not so friendly folk. Very unlucky people. And... Blah! Oh god, I missed. Alright, that's... That's not good. Alright. Alright, let's do some damage there. Maybe we can get this. Maybe. So let's see. Whoa! Holy damage! Coming out from the Mordekaiser Pantheon. Gonna ult in there. And let's see. Maybe we can get this. Alright. Keep on auto attacking. Keep on using the abilities. I'm gonna flash. And... Eh, eh, eh. No! I misclicked him! I'm the worst! I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I misclicked him. Hmm. I forgot how slow my attack speed feels when I'm playing Varus mid. Because you, like, you usually play these AD carries and you're like... You know? Like you go Legolas on this shit. But then it just like doesn't happen. And then you get all confused. Because you're not like... You're like... Puh. 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 You guys get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. Because it's really hard for me to explain it without a camera. Because I'm like drawing, I'm drawing the string of a bow as I'm making these noises, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now you know what I'm saying, but let's see. So this should be like 500, yeah, 500. And, uh, whoops. Sorry, Gabe, I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. 
fuck, but they should be able to get that LeBron, the Willard, if you will, without my assistance, because pretty much I'll just do what I've been doing this whole game, which is, well, doing nothing but looking handsome. So let's see, maybe, oh no, oh no, oh boy, Ugh. damn it! Yes! Oh, there's the assist, there's the E, and whoop, whoop, and shklip, boom! Oh, 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 hell no! God damn it! Eh. I hate this, I hate this! Eh. Fuck! God damn it, alright, you know what, I'm coming in here, let's go ahead and... Oh! Oh. Uh, God! Uh, uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Thank the Lord! Thank the Lord! Uh, uh, ult him! Yeah, we got him! And that will be the last auto attack on the Nexus. 50 gold. 6, 5, and 6. Absolutely atrocious score. I love it. But this is the best game I played today, sadly. And I hope you guys still enjoyed it. So, if you guys did, make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below this video. And as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!